Okay, what we're doing is we're doing a quick video. iCharger 406 Duo with the discharge going into a resistor bank. So let's see what happens if we start this thing with it set up to 40 amps discharge. The resistor bank, the load, has built-in fans. We have the current limit maxed out to 40 amps. My curiosity is how hot that little puppy get. Should I touch it? It's getting warm. Now the reason why we're testing this is this is actually going into one of our custom charge cases we're building. There's actually going to be two of them. And what we are going to have is dual 406 duos and then we're putting in 80 amp relays. And what that 80 amp relay is going to do is it's actually going to act like an AB switch. In off position, the charger will work like a duo charger. In the on position, when you put 12 volts to this, the relay will close inside, opening the original side, which is the A, and we're going to have it go to the B side. And then we'll be able to discharge to the resistor banks. And we're going to have two of everything in there. So there's going to be a lot of wiring, a lot of custom stuff. I can smell a little bit of heat now. Yeah, it should get more. So 243F is our hottest so far. Feels like a hair, hair dryer heat gun. No, I'm not touching it. Just put my hand by it, feeling the air coming off. Smells like a hair dryer being used for the first time. You can definitely tell when coils are warm. So 264, 277, 281. Two eighty nine.
So we are discharging at 21.48 amps, and these are rated up to 40 amps. Lipos are a little warm, not bad. This would be a good way to break in some lipos. So 301F. We know what we want to know now. Definitely some heat radiating off that. I got my hand a good two inches away. Sorry about the bump. There you go. That's a way to discharge from lipos pretty quick. Rotorcraft RC. Keeping you in charge.